side of Cloud9. Hello. Oh, my word. Whoa. I was going to say he's getting dinner, but that would look like an appetizer. So TSM is kind of losing on their bread and butter right now. And this actually might be toast for Bjergsen. Boop. That's right. Provide some damage in this fight. I don't know if he'll be back in time. He tries to instantly teleport. They're going to be able to see this coming in. Oh. The dragon gets hit up. No way. Bjergsen takes the dragon. He's still in the mix. And Gravity's health bars are just getting blown apart right now. Three are already down. TSM is having a heyday here. 24 minutes in. That's a double kill for Bjergsen. The triple kill for him. And he may come over for... No, he's not. He's just mid lane pushing. Take this one down without much counterattack. But will they stay is the question. Bjergsen puts out a lot of pressure. No chart binding was close, though. Wow. Oh my god, goes in, takes him down! Are you serious, Bjergsen? Rush force to flash away, Santorin's there. Expects to be in the top lane for quite some time as they farm it out, 73 to 60. Cole Belter, he could get hit up here. That's going to be what it needs. And oh, a lockdown man. as he hits the shuriken off his shadow oh, right my. before it disappears. That was disgusting. Bjergsen just ridiculous outplay on Poe Belter. Very intricate, very intricate stuff you're looking at. 12 minutes on the clock. He Push the turret. He's only got a few shots on it. Will Bjergsen go hard? He was right, walking right towards it. That's the hit. That's the shield. Position reverser as Rack. well. Cracked. One more. Oh, One more. Keen, no, Keen, no. No. No, no, no. Keen, no, no. First block. Keen, you had the advantage. Oh. No. That's one of those things where you're like, uh, I'm, I'm not going to do this. I was I'm like, not going to do this. Oh, I did it. Came when he really didn't have a choice about the positioning oh, and another kill when he doesn't have a choice about it. Boop. That was, I would have said, it's pretty, <laughs> pretty great for last way to continue. Yeah, yeah. Matt is kind of playing around here. High's content sitting on his turret. Oh, for now. oh first <laughs> one coming out. That's going to be it. Santora not even needed. With Zion on the flank, they're hoping that TSM comes in so Zion can flank them from the backside. And that's what TSM's doing. They're in the trap. There they go. Big Lightning Storm comes in, and now it's 650 up on the side. Gets the death mark on him, flashes the wall. Bjergsen chases. Looks like he might get the kill, and he Ooh. will. Out he goes. One for zero. Chase on Bjergsen, though. Link likely to get this kill. The rocket misses. The chart misses. Bjergsen gets out. Wild Turtle, the center of attention. Monsoon down to the wall. Trades back on the Aphromu, but it's still a team fight. That's four kills for TSM, but it's a red buff double lift. Flash of the Zap. Santorin gets out here. CLG forcing TSM away, but actually loses gold on this one. How does Bjergsen dodge so many skill shots? Strategy 7 1 and 5. IE, he's gonna go after this tank. He's going quite hard. He actually flashes forward to finalize the damage. And he pulls right back to the alt shadow. Oh, what? Dodging back and forth. The fancy feet coming in nicely. Keen says, I need a dance partner, and Bjergsen obliges nicely. 34 minutes into Trying to do a bit of damage from the back line, but he hasn't had too much of a dive for himself. Ultimate still up on the death mark, which Winter Fox has to watch. Trying that to base back. is going down. It's a it is not going to be good. Bjergsen goes in to make sure they cannot back the shadow. Oh also my. doing triple damage. And it looks like Team Solo Mid's going to get a huge lead off of Winions. Turtle into the fight. He puts the shell on. TSM. Uh oh, Bjergsen Bjergsen Shall we show? Oh my god! Oh, they killed him! He got they back on Shareway Shell, but hey, worth it, IMO. Sheep's around. They're teleporting him out. They're going to watch out the AD carry 5v4. What can happen now? Lush Boy Iceland and Man Cloud getting jumped on, though, and in comes Santorin. He does dodge the charm on it. Oh, oh my god, Bjergsen, that charm was gorgeous! That's a one for one so far. The fight's going to continue with TSM having a gigantic gold lead. Chris gonna get taken down for all members of Winter Fox and they really want to make use of the giant minion wave that they have stacked up while wow, they still have Baron buff. Alltech getting annihilated under the turrets. Alltech is not afraid to go hard. Definitely switching the mentality from an AD carry over to a support and he's been playing quite good. This could be TSM's chase. Slow. A great glitter lance onto the team. That could be Avalon going in for the team but Winter Fox actually wants it as well. That was a mistake. Here goes Bjergsen in. This is what TSM wanted. They are just shredding Winter Fox out now. And it's Pole Belter to hey, run for his kite. life. Where does TSM focus? They're actually going to try to go for the last kill. That's the glitter lance. That's going to hit. The help picks is there. 
it was used actually to get into range, and TSM is running for the hills. Winter Fox should definitely be using a bit of this to get a push on as well. If TSM keeps them on the chase, they're going to get practically nothing. He's trying for the great escape here. Bjergsen going to kite them around their own jungle. Three members lost there for TSM. Altic, can he land it? It's up, it's up. There you go! Oh, he hit it, the solar flare! Oh, he down just on the edge, so it's the slow for Bjergsen. He's waiting for the shadow. The ward goes down to keep vision of someone they already got. Oh, he missed him! How did he get away? He dodged it again! Bjergsen running for his life! He dodges another missile! This is gonna be it! Helios gives up chase! And Bjergsen with the amazing chase!